got the, uh, the engine all loaded up. We're heading into Phoenix to go check out this shop called Phoenix Engine Specialist. Talked to these guys on the phone and uh, got a pretty good feeling. I'll drop off the engine and uh, yeah, get this thing going. Here with Phoenix Engine Specialist. We're gonna tear down my engine today, see what it looks like, and uh, maybe even get to the machining process uh, in the next day or so. So let's get to it. So here it is, the four liter out of my Jeep. It's on the stand. We're gonna go ahead and tear it down and uh, see how bad it is inside. This is the man, the myth, the mystery. This is Ron. How's it going, guys? Phoenix engine specialist. The guy's looking at me like I'm crazy. And he's like, you build these things? And I'm like, yeah, build them all the time. He's like, no, really, you build these things. I'm like, I build them. <laughs> Next thing, he took my number down. Next thing I know, like 48 hours later, I had every junkyard on Broadway calling me. Wow, can you build this engine? Can you build this? Can you build that? Can you do this? And then I already had an eBay. My presence is big on eBay. That's, that's where I normally run. So I'm like, I didn't have time to do local work. I'm like, but then my kids came on and they were like, hey, well, we need we need to do local work. You know, and I'm just like, yeah, probably. Hey, on the front cylinder right there. So, uh, okay. a, four, a four liter, a four two head, if you're ever questioning is it cracked, the cylinder will be, this, the combustion chamber is going to be rusty. We're good. And uh, let's see, number six is here. That's the one that had the busted skirt. We'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what she's got here. All right. I'm going to flip it over here. And All the lifters. Lifters! I'm gonna replace them anyways, Aaron. But you just throw them in the bucket. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna save everything. Just in case you have a question how did I get the right part and compare it to something you got and see if it's been built before. When I looked at the standard, the, the bearing, so yeah. It's, it, standard, it's already marked standard, so we know that we could either cut the crank 1010 or polish standard depending on you know what the what, what the wear is on it, and we won't know that until we get it on the machine. But all these rod caps have to go back on the rod they came off of. They are all made it from the factory. Yep. So there you go. I'll be interested to see. I mean, what that cylinder looks like. Yeah, I, I mean, I can look. I can see it from here. I mean, it looks I don't see any good. crazy gouges. No. I don't know if it's stepped or anything. And there, I mean, that's the engine gods were in your yeah. were in your blessings this day. I think. Yeah, I mean, it's cast iron block, right? And aluminum piston, so yeah. cast iron usually wins. Cast iron wins, that's what I always say. I always like, and, ah. and I caught it right away. Yeah, yeah. if you would have kept driving it, I'm sure it would have... Thrown a rod. Yeah, eventually, what a nice big old gouge on the side of that. Thing. All neat, organized, clean. But I always noticed the guys that were the best, their areas were destroyed. But it's something that as you got busier and busier and it flooded you with more work. It kind of we'll get we'll get going so crazy sometimes where I'm like we got to stop. You know we got to clean up. I'm, I'm, get, I'm, I'm getting. <laughs>
it's in really good shape. I mean, if that thing, that's a standard bearing. I mean, I would imagine A10, that's a Chrysler bearing right there. That's 200,000 miles. I mean, that's... Yeah, when I looked at it, I, I thought the bearings looked okay. That's why yeah. I put it back together. That, that's real good. So I'll put that there. That's going to go into the pile today to go into the shop and get checked out. A uh, rod cap nut sitting over here. All right, we got to take the cam out. All right, how's the cam out. looking? Let's take a peek at it. Yeah, we don't see anything else. Well, that's a so probably just I'm probably look at we're gonna me, we're gonna measure them and everything and if, if it's good we're just gonna polish it and throw, throw it back in okay that's pretty much it on the block that's, that's you it. got the pickup yeah. tube right and yeah that's it it's a coveted rear main yeah there, there's your rear main seal there's your, your five hours on your back job there <laughs> or however many hours kind of straightforward build. I mean, every, everything's in good condition. It's, it's not a basket case, as I like to say. Now I don't have to go find any parts. I just have to buy parts. I don't have to find any hard parts. No blocks, no cranks, no cams, no cores. Got it all right here. Awesome. A perfect specimen. I can still see honing marks on the cylinder. Yes, they're still there. I mean, like I said, there's hardly any ridge on this. If I were to, if I were to measure this right now, it, it, would, it would probably hone out standard. It'd be fine. But we're going to bore it anyways, just because the mileage on it. We want to... It's got a little tiny lip on it. Not... Not much. This one has, this one has more. You feel a, a tiny... Oh, yeah. I got a little bit. This here, you can barely feel anything. That might be more carbon than anything. Uh, yeah, I don't feel anything there. Nothing yeah. there. Just uh, on the front one. That's a little it. carbon. So, yeah. So, like I said, we could... I mean, it's up... We could start at 20. Let's see? Cleans up at 20, 30, whatever. I mean... Let's get some parts ordered. Yeah. All right, so there it is. The engine has been uh, fully stripped down. Pretty hopeful. No major damage from that cylinder uh, or that cylinder from the piston that came apart. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. So I'm excited. Um, definitely an interesting shop. You can't judge a book by its cover. Sometimes you just gotta go and talk to people and see what they can do and see what they know. So we're gonna get out of here and uh, come back in a couple days when we got parts. And after that thing's been machined, put it back together.